Here we have an AC that's not working. Obviously what you want to do is you want to make sure that your thermostat is set to the auto and cool position. Make sure that you press uh, the temperature down to what the reading is inside. So for instance, if your thermostat reads 79 degrees, you want to lower your thermostat to 74 degrees. We're going to remove our panel and this will give us access to our contactor and our capacitor. Here, the first thing I always advise is pushing in the contactor. However, right now the contactor is engaged already. So right now I have my multimeter set to voltage AC. Checking the voltage here incoming from my disconnect and I do have 240 volts. Now I'm taking my leads and putting them on the top and this will be outgoing voltage. And you can see here that I do not have voltage going out when once my contactor is engaged. I'm checking my low voltage. So I do have a reading of 25 volts and I have one lead on each of my low voltage terminals. This would indicate to me that I have a faulty contactor. Whenever that button right here is engaged, that will press the coil and send the voltage up top to allow your compressor and your condensing unit to turn on. A quick test that I like to do in troubleshooting my contactor is what I like to do is I'll remove my wire nuts here to my low voltage, I'll separate the wires and then I'll tap them to see if uh, my contactor will re-engage. Here you can see I disconnected my two leads on my low voltage side. I reconnected my leads, compressor turned on, my condenser fan motor turned on. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.